Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So, for the second time, of course we're in lockdown, we have to stay at home, absolutely more so than ever now, and we have to stay together and support one another. But of course, hair keeps growing. <laughs> and, of course, on a bit more lighter note, I'd like to keep my hair well groomed and looked after. So for the second time, I have actually cut my hair and I have finished and I've styled my hair. And do you know what? I really like the look. So what did I do? So I have taken my wall clipper. So my wall clipper set, which I absolutely love and I'm getting better and better with this all the time. Now, you may think straight away, can I cut hair? Yes, I'm not a professional. You may see from my channel, I have cut several people's hair in my family and I'm not I'm not sort of being boastful or anything, but I do quite a good job. Um, but please don't let me think that I'm I don't I don't want to give this impression that I'm taking away that it's an easy thing to do because it's certainly not. And professionals out there have the utmost skill and it takes a lot of hard work and dedication and training to, to do that. I have not. I have taught myself over years. So it's not just in the last couple of days. This is not just I've picked up my clippers and I've and I've started buzzing away, cutting hair off. I've been doing this for quite some time. It does take a lot of time. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of effort. I'm not a professional. I'd say amateur. Um, is it something I enjoy? Yes, absolutely. I, I do. Um, but Yes, yeah, absolutely. And at the moment, I just want to keep my hair in a nice style, nice sort of freshness, and just that another sense of positivity for everything. What and that is such uncertain times at the moment. Um, but but yes, yeah, so I don't want to take away from any professional at all. So if you are watching this, I'm not saying that it's an easy thing to do, but I know my own hair. I like I know how I like my hair cut. So let's get back to my cut today. So I have used wool clippers. Really, really love these. They've got some nice weight behind them. And what I like is they've got this toggle switch here, which when I put the blade comb on, I can then move it up and down for a really nice fade and I can blend it. I'm just trying to show you with the light here. So as you can see, it moves as a lever, sort of a toggle here, which is really, really handy for making it short and then really blending it up. But as you see, you can see here, I don't necessarily like a blended look. I like a very defined line and then it arrows down towards the nape of my neck. I will be attaching pictures. So what you'll see is if I come off to the side here, you will see here, we will show you the after look because I can appreciate in the light it's a little bit difficult to see right now and it's a really really sunny day out there today it's really lovely and warm it's lovely for the Easter weekend but you will see now and we're probably chop and change back and forth both of them that the this is the after look which I really really love and I've styled my hair off through with some lifting wax and then just sprayed over with some blasting freeze spray and I've just used my my fingers nothing much really to be um no, not loads of styling products and things. Just lifted it through with my fingers with a bit of uh, lifting wax um, and then just some hairspray. Of course, I did blow dry my hair through with my... I can't think where it is now. Okay, so I used a very small... Uh, round daemon brush which really just to get that lift and get that volume for the front of my hair um, which I really really uh, like and I think it really really suits me so you'll see these pictures here um, and I hope you agree it looks I think it looks really really cool really modern and really trendy and looks and looks rather good if I say so myself um, let's get back to how I done it so from the sides of my hair what I done is I used my wall clippers and then I took the guard of a 0.5 which is this one here put that on the clipper okay and then over and then what I've done is because I wanted a really short down to the skin I've gone I've moved the toggle right down so the blade comes all the way up okay which you can see just here and then if I move it down so for example if I started it open then I can move it up all the way through as I fade it up through my scalp to get a really nice sort of fade but I didn't actually want that what I want is a, a defined line because I find it just lasts a bit longer especially when I've got an undercut I like that volume and height on the top so that's what I used here so for example literally we're probably down to about a zero here and then all the way up then we've got that nice 0.5 then to a defined line as you can see on both sides you'll see from the picture as well what we done which Towards the end, what I will do is I will put the pictures up again, um, but you can see I've got that really nice defined line and then towards the nape of my neck. And then what I've done, because this was starting to get a bit puffy here, this is my comb, my wall comb, and then you can see this bit of hair here was starting to get a bit puffy and I didn't want it so sort of like a brick wall standing out there. Um, so these little bits here, what I've done is I sectioned my hair off out the way so I wasn't going to cut any of the hair I didn't want to. And then here, what I've done is I've just trimmed it through ever so slightly, just taking the bare minimum off. These are my hair cutting shears, which I love and are well used. Um, so I've done that 
then. And then I went in just to break, take some of the weight out, just thin it out my thinning thinning shears, which I really love as well. They're really, very really good. Um, and yeah, really, really liked how it has turned out. So then you may think, how on earth did I do that? So literally, once I've got the hair sectioned off, used my comb, lifted my comb up, and then with the other hand, just went in with the thinning shears. One, probably in the middle, then towards the end, a second one again, just to take a lot of the weight out. So it blends a little bit, so it doesn't look so sort of brick thick there in that line. And then what I've done is if I see any bits which needed a little bit trimming back in, I just used my scissors. And I think the end look is really, really nice. Now you may think, how on earth did I do that at the back? My amazing mum helped me with that. <laughs> Bless her. And um, yeah, really, really amazing. So I hope you will see. I think what we will do, we'll go back in the pictures now. So you will see both of my images here for how my cuts ended up. Because I can appreciate it's a bit bright with the sun outside. So you might not necessarily be able to see from my clip as we're going through. But do you know what? For our lockdown, and of course it's so important at the moment to stay at home, I don't think I did a bad job. And do you know what? With how I've styled it, I really, really like the look. I hope you agree that I did quite a good job with my mum, of course, as well. OK, thank you very much for watching. And indeed, um, in fact, actually, what I would say is this isn't to say that grab a kitchen pair of scissors or an office pair of scissors and just start hacking away at your hair. Do you know what? The best thing you can do if you're thinking you saw my hair is getting a little bit untidy, taking a small trimmer, um, just trying to think for, uh, you know, like the personal, um, like Phillips trimmer uh, or like um, like an uh, like an eyebrow shaper. You know what I mean? Something like that with like a flat edge would be really good. My top tip, if you're uncertain, don't start hacking away at your hair. That's what I would say. Literally take a trimmer or even just a razor and straightening up the edges at the bottom of your hair and around the nape of your neck will make such a difference to how much more professional, sleek, tidy and clean looking. And then the next best thing I would probably recommend is just making sure you're keeping your hair really conditioned. Don't just skip conditioner. It makes the world of difference to keeping your hair shiny, healthy and it won't look dry. It won't look out of shape because you've got that nice straight edge if you use like a personal uh, men's um uh, like trimmer or if you just use be really really careful and get somebody to help you with it at the nape of your neck a razor to actually give you a straight edge and around your your hairline of your ears and then just in the front here making sure that's really nice and smart and sleek that those two things keeping your hair conditioned and keeping a nice straight line around and third one nice smart facial hair or well shaven will keep you looking for smart as long as hopefully we keep going through this. Of course, the main thing is to stay fit, well and healthy. But if you want to keep yourself looking smart and tidy, those three tips. So keeping a straight line all the way around using either a, uh, a razor or a personal trimmer, um, keeping your hair well conditioned in the next smart facial hair or well shaven. That will keep you going through the lockdown. OK, stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home. Hope you enjoyed my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Thanks very much. Bye bye now.